All right, guys, we're not going to fuck around. We're going to go right into gameplay right now. And I got some stuff to get off my chest. Now, my last video on this, I put um, my review for now. And it's good that I put for now because you saw in the little thumbnail, it said, uh, here's the for now, and it's not good. First, I'm going to just straight out just go right to the main thing that's happening in the game um now i i don't play fortnite i'm not a fortnite person i've never liked fortnite i've always thought it was a childish game to play um but call of duty has just done something that what the fuck is going on with sledgehammer what the fuck is going on i mean i already know what the fuck is going on with activision and their bullshit that's going on with their lawsuit and everything that they've been doing wrong but that they have to put this shit that i'm about to talk about in the game they put the bloom mechanic in the game the bloom b-l-o-o-m mechanic is what's inside fortnite so all those people that you see playing fortnite and they look like they're fantastic at it here's why so what the bloom mechanic is, uh, is usually referred to as a weapon bloom. It refers to how accurate your bullets are when you fire your, your weapon. Um, in the past, Call of Duty titles, if you aim down your scope, you would always, it would always match where you would hit the player where your reticle was aiming. Well, you ain't got to worry about that shit now because with the blue mechanic you can shoot and you really don't have to aim anywhere you don't really have to aim well i mean you have to aim at the person but you can aim at the person and your bullets are gonna hit them regardless because what it does is it incorporates an element of unpredictability into your firing. So when bullets are firing imperfectly with a small zone around your reticle, they can still hit the target and kill them. So if you've been a person who's been really good at COD for years, um, I don't know why they put this in there, but they did. And you could be like oh yeah i'm a master of cod and then all of a sudden you're still good at cod but other people who are not as good or who have never been as good um are now coming up and then you seem to be not as good anymore it's because people have this in there now somebody did a study they were trying to figure out how they can get around the blue mechanic and somebody did a study in saying that he theorized that one point of accuracy equates to roughly 25% decrease in bloom. So, you can't, but the problem is, it, you can't eliminate the bloom on the weapons that have it. You can just reduce it. So, even though one, one point roughly adds to 25% decrease in bloom, you would think, oh, if it's 25% decrease in bloom, then if I do it four times, I should be able to get rid of it all the time. Uh -uh, you can't do that shit. You can't reduce it. You're stuck. You're stuck with it. You're just stuck. It's not in every gun. Um, from what I can understand, it's not on the sniper rifles. Um, I don't think it's on, well, let me see here. The levels of bloom in the ARs, the LMGs, the marksman rifles are, are lower while the sniper rifles, uh, do not appear to have bloom in it. And I mean, as far as like shotguns go, I mean, you don't need bloom. I mean, you can shoot a shotgun in the direction of somebody and blow their fucking head off, regardless what you do. But um, 
to say that they're low in ARs, LMGs, and marksman rifles, I guess. I mean, I'm using an LMG in this video, but I mean, I have 125 rounds, so I mean, I can keep going and shooting. You know, like when you have sex, I can keep going and going and going, like the energy is a bunny or whatever the fuck it is. Um, let's talk about something else real quick for those of you who use the STG. The STG has something that because I'm going to get away from Bloom. Bloom's already pissing me off. Plus, the servers are a pain in the ass. And something else is a pain in the ass. You'll see that here towards the end of this match. Um, for those of you using the STG, if one of you go up against somebody who has an STG, not an STD, not a, not a, a sexually transmitted disease, but an STG, uh, the gun in the game, and you seem to like... Why is that person able to beat me and I have the same gun? Well, it's probably because they've already unlocked and attached the vital to the gun. And what vital does is it gives you headshot damage for hitting someone in the chest. No bullshit. So if you're using an STG, and right now it's only present in the STG, which is the AR. It's an AR. It's an assault rifle. It's only present in the SDG. So you can put the Vito on. And that's it. You can get headshot damage. So you can get shot in the chest once. And it'll be like they just blew your head off. So yeah, that's that's the way it goes. So if you're using the SD, that's why you see everybody running around using the SDG. And not really using anything else. I mean, I'm just an LMG guy. I like using LMGs. So that's just me. I want you to pay close attention to this. It just said my controller went off. So, and the problem was my controller was not dead. Okay? And I had it plugged in. And I ended up dying again. Now I'm going to tell you why that happens. Not only is Bloom in the, in the game... Vital is in the game if you use an SDG. Cheaters have already found a way to break this code. And the problem is, is that Vanguard doesn't even have, I believe it's called Ricochet, right? Um, I believe it's called Ricochet. Um, yeah, let me check. Real fast. Oh, I just hit my uh, just hit my mic. Uh, is it Ricochet? You know what? I'm gonna check right while I'm here, so you can hear me uh, type. So they have this anti cheat that's gonna be there. Um. But here's the problem. If you're a Warzone person, it is Ricochet, by the way. If you're a Warzone person, you're fine. It's going to Warzone. It won't be in multiplayer until after December 2nd when the zombie shit and everything else comes out. So thank God that tomorrow, because it's the ninth, the eighth year, I get to play this beauty, Forza Horizon 5. And I'll be doing a review and some videos on that. And I already know it's not going to suck. It's got a 91 on Metacritic. Not that I give a shit about what Metacritic has to say. And then on Friday, I'll be playing Battlefield 2042. Um, I have to. Uh, I enjoy the beta, even though it had the problems. But after I've seen videos with the betas, problems taken care of, um, I am hoping to enjoy myself. And then... On December 8th, you see it right there in front of you. The man himself, Master Chief, and Halo Infinite come out, played the beta. There was little to no kind of glitches whatsoever. Little to no. I'm not saying that there weren't. Little to no glitches, and I enjoyed the shit out of it. So hopefully you will too. Guys, thanks for stopping by. If you liked the video, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the notifications button so you know whenever I put up new content. I'll check you guys out later. 
keep gaming.